Okay, and we're back. Hour number two, and joining us this hour, a man who has just washed uh, the popcorn off his hands and probably is ready to sit down and practice punching that electronic voting machine again to vote for, and we'll fill in the blank a little later, a man who continues to persevere through relentless absurdity, the master of trends, Gerald Salenti. Hey, Jeff, thank you so much. Good to have you back. Well, another exercise in nauseating political theater. Two men so primed to the gills with machine-inputted information to spew back to the TV audience about made you sick. I wonder how many times they practiced their closing remarks, that little <laughs> speech lit at the end. God, I just, it amazes me. It's the same old crap we've heard for virtually two years. And they sit there, and not an original thought between them. Uh, did you see any passion? No. Did you hear anything unique? No. And the folks listening in, oh, you guys know what's going on as well as we do. Your 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 thoughts, Gerald, as if I couldn't probably write most of them up myself. Well, it's the lesser of two evils. Yeah. And making fun of these guys, I mean, it's so easy. It's that's the. <laughs> How can uh, anybody believe this stuff? No. No, I, I How could know. any self-respecting person take these little boys seriously? Precisely. That's what they are, little boys. And Oh, the best part for me was when Romney and, and Barkey were uh, trying to shake hands with the audience over the edge of the stage after the conclusion I of didn't, the I wasn't watching it. That oh, part my of God, that was the best part. Both like of them story. almost fell into the audience, and their wives had to pull them back. Mittens uh, almost fell right over head first. And it looked like a rock concert. They were they were glad handing it with the front row, rockaholics, and uh, they were leaning over so far. Their wives, uh, especially Romney's wife, had to actually grab him around the waist and pull him back. He would have fallen. So anyway, that was my highlight. Oh, God. I loved it. I tweeted. I tweeted the entire debate. Oh. I tweeted as it goes along. This is great. It's it's uh, it's so powerful. Twitter with the, to to use it in a in a good way. And mm -hmm. you know, I have a lot of you know I've had some. You know, about 33,000 people have followed me. So uh, it's great. And I, it's fun. funny stuff. Yeah. Like today, I came, I came out with a line. <laughs> this is my favorite line. It was at the end of the debate, the, the debate this guy, Bob Schieffer. Uh -huh. You know, the, the guy that's from CBS, right? I wonder if they carried him out to put him in that chair. Jeez. Well, you know, he's famous. I'll never forget the last time I went over the edge. But this time it was too funny. Uh, he he was he also was the prostitute that they used for the last uh, Bush Kerry debate. So now here it is. I mean, things are really you know things are tense back then. Mm -hmm. And we're talking 2004. Mm -hmm. You know, the United States is only what a year into the Iraq War, two years into two and a half years into the Afghan War. Right. There's still that 9/11 vibe in the air. Mm -hmm. And the last question that this guy asks, he says, you know, the three of us have something in common. And I said to myself, how the hell did he get in the middle of this? This yeah. is a baby tree. He goes, the three of us have strong wives. Oh, great. Oh, my God. Oh, great. All right. I said, All right. oh, that's terrific. Yeah. The three of you have strong wives. That really oh, yeah, there's a name for that. The Yeah, um, yeah the second word is whipped. Uh, so anyway, his final word, here's my tweet. Prestitute gets final word. Quote, this is she for now. In the words of my mom, go vote. It makes you feel big and strong. To which I tweet, yeah, it's called jerking off. He's <laughs> <laughs> so I added the part. It's called jerking off. The punch go line. vote. It makes you feel big and strong. Just yeah. like beating off. You know, no. what are you kidding? You get nothing by voting. No, this is guys. a big lie, telling everybody to go out and vote. You're going to vote for one of these two fools? You call yourself a man or a woman? And you would, you would bend so low to look up to these two little boys? This was a con, this debate was very important. We could joke about it, but this debate was the most important of, of all of them. Because they're talking about foreign policy. Mm -hmm. And the first great war of the 21st century has begun. This is no joke. 
There's a war in Libya. There's a war. And that Obama bragging about what we did to Gaddafi. And, oh, and I love it. To save the women. To save the women. Oh, yeah. No veils over. What are you talking about? So here they do. They start these wars. Now one's talking about more arms to this one. Romney, I tweeted, buy military stock in military industrial complex companies if, if Romney gets in. That's all he's talking about. So what I'm saying, Jeff, this is very serious. Because what this debate was about, my first tweet was, mm -hmm. which one of these are going to get us killed the quickest? Quickest, yeah. Oh, yeah, agreed. That's very well said, and I think you've summed up. That was, if there was an essence to this, that is yeah, the and essence. It's serious. Of it. You know, we could joke right. about it. This is serious. No, it's deadly serious. This is serious. life and death. Yeah, deadly serious. Absolutely. By the way, uh, Romney's remark about putting Ahmadinejad on trial oh, yeah, I for thinking, that one too. for allegedly thinking about genocide. Yeah. So I tweeted. How about bringing up Bush, Cheney, Rumsfeld, Powell? The real killers. Yeah, for, for, uh, for, for giving us, for starting a war mm -hmm. and killing all those people for fake reasons. How about that one? Well, they've committed a holocaust. We've got two million to three million dead in Afghanistan, at least two million dead in Iraq since Bush 41. That's five. Let's throw on some miscellaneous and we're pretty well in the ballpark, aren't we? Around six million again? No one talks about that. Nope. The Israelis killed more Palestinians yesterday. We killed Yemenis today with our drones, our little boys and girls in their joystick video game controls and their sanitized air-conditioned offices, slaughtering people. We killed more in Pakistan. We killed eight or nine more in Afghanistan. And this is what we hear about. Yeah, this know, is what yeah. we hear about. These, because these our stuff. Zionist press will tell us. Can you give me a scenario where world peace is coming. I'd, I'd, I'd love to hear it. I don't think you can. There's nothing out there. There's not one single marker that points toward peace. I came up with a new term tonight. What these guys were spouting. Mouth farts. That works. That works, right? Sure. No, <laughs> these it, were mouth farts. Punk kids. That's all they kept doing. Punk kids, exactly. I know. This, this, this sickening. I know. Little brats. You, they, they look like they need their butts kicked, well, both look, of them. I mean, Romney. You know, Romney's like a bush. You know, he was born on third base and thought he hit a triple. That's cute. The same thing with, you know, with, with, yeah. with George Bush II. Mm -hmm. The only thing is, I mean, Romney's as stiff as Bush. You know, these white guys are really stiff, man. Yeah. Yeah. And But he's as stiff as Bush, but he, know, he, he could handle himself a lot better. He can speak I guess, in full I mean, sentences. Romney, I mean, let's face it, Romney never... Do you want to vote for a guy that's never had a drink, been with the same... I mean, come on, you know? I don't want a guy like that. And I have to say this, too. I'm not for... I'm not for the Mormons, to me, are a sect. And I, and I saw them when I used to be in the business world, and they all do business with each other. And I don't like this tight knit religious group. Both of this Romney bragging, I, this is my favorite, that he, the Democrats didn't have God on his platform, on their platform, and he put God on the, on the Republican platform. The God that I know, if they're talking about Jesus Christ, without speaking for Christ, I would assume that Christ would rather hang from a cross than be on either of these two guys' platform. 